All right. This is part of the old museum here of poultry feeding systems and feed bags that date back into the anywhere from the 40s and 60s. But these feeders here, now like this crockery feeder right here, that's uh, probably in the neighborhood of uh, a late uh, 1800 or early 1900 where they fed even some buttermilk in this right here, buttermilk mash. But you can see they would start chicks out in cardboard after then. The, one of the neat old feeders I've got is where somebody looked like made one for grandmother and they actually notched it out and put little uh, tags in there. These are some right here. Actually, some of these little feeders right here were given to them if the grandmother would buy the chicks from uh, the supplier and if he would agree to buy the feed from them, he would give them one of these little feeders. But uh, not so today. These are feeders and we come along in, uh, in the uh, late 50s and uh, early 60s there, as you can see some of the feed companies. This being an old crockery one here, and it's really the only one I've ever saw in any, any uh, shows of that part. Uh, we've got some watering. We'll go through some watering. These were continuous waters here, and the sawtooth guard here is to keep the birds from sitting on the uh, water and uh, causing the water to get extremely dirty. These are ones here that were the they would fill them up and put them into the hen house. This one is one that Chur Time Equipment designed to try to put on the feeder lines as automatic feeding came along. Of course, the cook here is uh, from A&P Cook Company out of uh, uh, Jonesboro, Arkansas, one of the oldest uh, cook uh, companies that I remember myself. This is a, a this water here is an insulated water where they uh, have them in the old chicken yard and keep the water from freezing. The nesting system here is, was actually a manufactured nesting system by a company in Illinois. And most of this stuff like this right here was bought from Sears and Roebuck and Montgomery Ward. Uh, this is an egg crate here with an old egg basket here. This right here would hold, uh, let's see, nine dozen eggs in that right there, a little carton there. As you get into medications, there's a Dr. Hess for a 50 pound uh, keg of medication. But you can see a lot of it, Dr. Salisbury's laboratories. You had I.D. Russell, uh, Lee, and also several other companies in. Signage, feed sacks. By the way, these feed sacks here are the ones that the women would buy and then you put them in water, warm water, and then labels would come off and they'd make skirts or aprons out of them then. Uh, we'll get on down here. By the way, I should say in these feed sacks, uh, a lot of them date back into the late 40s and uh, uh, on up into the 60s, but uh, they've got the, uh, they put a tag on them for the amount of what kind of feed it was. And some of them were laying feed, some of them were dairy feeds and so forth. But uh, we've got them from Kroger's, which we know as Kroger Food Chain today. They have some from the Great Atlantic Pacific Tea Company. So they've just a big uh, agglomeration of feed bags. As we look 